The flow of salmon is influenced by the tides. At low tide, the current becomes stronger at the river mouth, and this, combined with the reduced depth, means it is not the best time to enter the water. There are fewer salmon, and the predators take advantage to snooze or play on the beach revealed by the outgoing tide. Six hours later, the process is reversed and the sea returns to reclaim the land. With the conditions in their favor, the tireless travelers again set off on their journey home. A long time has passed since they descended the same waters on their way to the ocean. Today, they are finally returning to their origins to once again complete the cycle of life. Thanks to their chemical receptors, the equivalent of the sense of smell in humans, while still out at sea, they detected the waters of their own rivers, much like people differentiate one perfume from another. And guided by this, thousands of salmon dispersed across the Pacific Ocean again gather at the same place they left years ago, the river where they first came into the world. Their bodies have now made the necessary changes. Now they can live in fresh water and are ready to face the next test, the ascent of the river. The jaws of the males have grown longer and have developed sharp, ferocious teeth which they will use to fight for the females. In some species, they have also acquired a characteristic hump. But the most important change is that in their gonads, their sexual glands. They have grown so much that they press against the stomach wall and prevent them from eating. They will have to conquer the rapids, leap up waterfalls and escape from their predators without eating a single thing. In the river, they will have virtually no rest. Even along the calmest stretches, the current drags back any who do not struggle against it, so constant effort is required. With no possibility of feeding, every lost minute reduces their precious reserves a little more. And so the journey upriver becomes a race against time. Along the river, the salmon will establish their spawning grounds. Some of them will spawn near the river mouth, but others will have to travel hundreds of kilometers against strong currents before they reach their destination. And throughout the journey, there will be predators trying to prevent them from ever reaching their goal. <laughs> 